And welcome back to another commentary casting by The Thinking Gamer. Today, I'm going to be casting a game by the Red Protoss player, Crowns, in the right corner, and the Blue Zerg player, Get Smart, in the left corner, weighing in at, well, I don't know how much he weighs, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be under 120. I'm just kidding, I don't know. But anyways, I am having a pretty good day today. I hope you guys are having a good day too. I have been playing some one versus one matches. And I have won some, lost some. But that's how it goes. Don't get discouraged. You just got to get back in there and keep playing. Now we're going to see a little game. I haven't watched this yet. But um, somebody sent this one to me and they told me it was a pretty good little game. So I'm going to watch it and I'm going to commentate on it. You guys let me know how I'm doing. I want to make more videos for you and I want to do more of these commentaries on these games. I have no clue what league these guys are in. Really, I don't. But um, we'll, we'll find out. Well, this, this ought to be a pretty good game from, from what somebody told me. So let's go ahead and watch it. looks like we have the Protoss player sending over an early pro before even a, a, a pylon is down. Um, so he is more than likely not going to scout, and yep, yep, there we go, we see a pylon. The Zerg player has seen this, gets smart, sees this, and he sends up his, his drone to attack it. He, then he grabs the rest of his drones down here, and he goes up to attack them. Uh, he sends all of his drones to this one over here. That is not a good idea, at least in my opinion. What you need to do is you need to send about four drones per pylon and that seems about the most efficient way to take them down quick enough and then you always need to have at least one guy harassing this uh, this probe up here at all times uh, looks like we have a forge coming now we're gonna see a cannon rush from the Protoss player this is gonna be good this is gonna be really good uh, because the thing about uh, cannon rushing a Zerg opponent is that they have creep all the way around here and this creep is just far enough away to where these cannons cannot hit the hatchery no matter what. That's why I recommend if you're going to do some kind of cheese as Protoss, you know, some kind of proxy cheese, do like a, a gateway rush or something like that. It's going to work a lot better for you than a cannon rush. But anyways, we have the... Um, we have Get Smart bringing up some drones here, and I was expecting him to attack these photon cannons, but he's not. I wonder why he brought those up there. They're kind of, it's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and speed this up. I have to keep this video under 15 minutes. And we have some spine crawlers going down. That's an interesting choice because these photon cannons are going to be done long before these spine crawlers. I don't think that was a good choice. I don't think by any means that was a good choice. As a matter of fact, I would probably cancel those and then go ahead and build those uh, spine crawlers back here in your supply line because these photon cannons cannot reach your base. They can't do any damage to you. Looks like he is bringing up some uh, zerglings trying to delay the death of his uh, spine crawlers here. Uh, but that is not going to be enough. It doesn't look like no. And he looks like he's going to lose an overload. This is not looking good for Get Smart. He already has four photon cannons building. Well, three built and another one building on the way. Back at his base, he has nothing but a pylon and a nexus. But back over here, we see the Get Smart is still trying to pump out these uh, Zerglings and try to take out this uh, probe, kind of delay it a little bit. But we still have more pylons going down and more gate and more uh, photon cannons coming in. Now it looks like he is trying to train a couple uh, of queens here. And he is also almost supply capped here. So he's going to be making a Achievements are disabled until further notice. Wow, that was a nice little pop-up. I really like achievements. I'm an achievement whore. I like to get as many achievements as possible, and that is kind of disappointing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is that kind of disappointing? Why would they disable the achievements? Uh, well, hopefully there's some kind of patch coming out with some changes that might be interesting, or maybe they're changing the achievement system a little bit. Who knows? Let's find out. Uh, just let me know. Post in the comments what you guys find out. Looks like we have some gas here from Get Smart. He is going to be getting some gas. He's got some spine crawlers here because it looks like uh, the the crows up here. He is going to be popping down a gateway, which is the first smart thing he has done so far. And it looks like this photon cannon he built here is within range of his spawning pool. So it looks like he's going to lose that spawning pool. He is pumping out some zealots, but these spine crawlers over here, combined with any kind of zerglings that he decides to pump out, will be no match. Uh, well, these... Uh, 
zealots. I'm sorry, I keep saying zealots. Zealots. I've had a few comments on my channels. Hey, it's zealot, not zealot. You know, some grammar Nazis to me. Yeah, who cares? Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. It's all the same thing. But anyways, these zealots up here are going to have a hard time dealing with these uh, spine crawlers, at least initially, especially when you combine it with some... Uh, with some some zerglings. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart there. I farted in my brain and it smells. Uh, we finally see some gas coming up here from uh, Crows. He's trying to get some gas, I guess. I don't know. He wants to maybe uh, go for uh, a Stargate or something. Maybe uh, some Stalkers. That would be a good choice, I think. They do a lot better than these uh, Zelots would, for sure. And looks like we have a a, a Lair morphing in for Get Smart. Uh, I can only guess one reason why he would upgrade to a lair at this point is not to get hydralisks. It's not to get a, um, well, I guess it could be for a spire. I guess a spire might work in this situation. But uh, my guess is he's probably going to try to go ahead and upgrade these overlords so that he can uh, transport them out here because he is being contained. That's all this Protoss player up here is able to do is contain him right now. If he brings, oh, achievement service has been restored. Yay! If he brings these Zelots down here, the Spinecrawler is going to have no problem dealing with it, coupled with these Zerglings. But he keeps pumping out more units up here, so I would not be surprised to see a couple more Spinecrawlers go down here. Uh, especially if, okay, it looks like he is pushing in with these Zelots. Zelots, Zelots, smack, smack, Zelots. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, as you can see, these Zelots are going to have no issue with this. It looks like, oh, he is going to lose his queen. That is, that is not good. But we do have the, the research going down, uh, upgrading the Overlord's movement speed. And next we should see Ventral Sacks as soon as he gets 200 uh, Vespian Gas. Yeah, and there they go. So it looks like he is going to try to transport some of his units out here, which is probably the smartest thing he can do. Because right now, if you look back at this base, there is absolutely no defense back here. He's finally getting out of Cybernetics Corps, but there is no units, no defense, nothing. All he needs to do is get his units there. He can't get them past this Photon Cannon Wall Brigade here, this, uh, this barrier. So he's going to have to fly him out, and that's what he's researching right now, and I think this might actually work pretty well for him because these zealots, 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 zealots cannot push in here. And it looks like we have a couple more spine crawlers down here for a total of four. Oh, and they take out the probe down there, so he's going to have to bring another probe from his base up here to, uh, to deal with that loss if he wants to continue building. Now it looks like we have a total of... Uh, seven zealots here, and they still are not going to be a match for these uh, spine crawlers. And it looks like we have a couple more spine crawlers going down, so they're definitely not going to be a match for them. We finally see this uh, research almost finishing up here. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because I need to keep this under 15 minutes. YouTube has a limit, and I don't like splitting up my videos if I don't have to. But here we go, the research. Let's go until the research is done. Research is done. In the second the research is done, he loads up these uh, Zerglings into his, his Overlord here. And he's going to fly them the heck out of here. Now it looks like we have a, a lot of spine crawlers back here. This is going to be more than enough to deal with these uh, Zealots. And it looks like we're finally seeing some Stalkers come in. He's going to come up here. And, oh, it looks like he's going to drop a drone. So we're going to see a base, a, a quick expansion, which is a smart choice on Get Smart's uh, behalf. Uh, this is really going to allow him, if he does manage to lose his base up here, recover from any kind of losses. And he is bringing these uh, overlords over here. They are packed full of speedlings, full of them. And there is absolutely no defense. This is going to be this is going to be a cannon roll over here. They're going to just roll right through here and 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 just destroy this base. And there go the speedlings. Oh, they they are no match. <laughs> And this is exactly what you would need to do if you get contained in like this and you all your opponent's defenses and offenses are up here. It looks like they pushed in. Hey, let's go back to that. I didn't see that. Looks like as soon as he drops these Zerglings up here, Crows says, oh crap, and he goes ahead and he pushes them with everything he's got. And we see one spine crawler go down. We see a second spine crawler go down, but by the time his entire force is done, he has one stalker left here. 
and this stalker is actually able to, he's finally realizing, hit this lair and stay out of the range of these spine crawlers here. But as you can see, he only has 460 minerals left. He built a stargate up here. I don't know why. And let's go over here to the income tab. Yes, Crows has zero income whatsoever, so he decides to build a nexus up here in the base. Uh, I guess he decided to do that instead of building down here because he's afraid of these um, these overlords filled with zerglings coming through and taking out any kind of expansion. If he loses those 400 minerals, he's going to have no way of recovering whatsoever. But at this rate, and from this distance to the minerals here, he's not going to be able to pull in a significant amount of resources when the zerg player is up here popping in uh, drones. Well, he should be popping in drones and getting this expansion up here rolling. Looks like we have a baneling nest and an evolution chamber back here. The evolution chamber, I guess, is in response to seeing this stargate. I wonder if he does see this stargate. Let's look. Yes, he does see the stargate up there. So he is thinking maybe void rays. Uh, he's, he's not sure about how much money that person has, crows. So he is going to be building an evolution chamber so he can maybe get up some, some spore shooters to kind of counter that, at least for a little bit. And he's finally getting his production going up here at this base. And we see a bunch of uh, drones coming out, which is really going to help out his income. Uh, it looks like he was able to destroy that hatchery, but another one's coming up. Something to note about losing a hatchery. When you lose a hatchery, look at all your creep. Your creep just disappears. It, it completely disappears. And um, if your buildings, like your creep, your, your spine crawlers and your spawning pool are without creep for too long, you're going to lose those buildings. I'd say about after about two or three minutes, those buildings just explode and you lose them. Uh, one thing you can do to prevent this is take your overlord over here and have them start generating creep on each one of the buildings. And that'll kind of keep them from, from dying. Or do it, uh, get smart dead here and build another lair or another hatchery so that it starts generating creep and kind of saves your building. But all he has to do with these uh, stalkers here is just continue. Uh, outranging these uh, spine crawlers. We have the Zerg player kind of looking around now. He's still looking for expansions. He's worried that um, he's worried that uh, Crows up here has found some way to expand out of here. So he's going to have his overlords going to the different minerals to make sure that Crows stays right where he's at because this is where he wants them. Uh, production's going down here. We got a couple of spine crawlers that can easily deal with any kind of um, scouts that he sends out. And it looks like now that that's down, he's going to be working on whatever he can find up in this base. And he's going to try to hit this extractor because it is out of range of these spine crawlers. But we have uh, production going well here. And we have Crow saying, just give up. Oh, but if he only knew, if he only knew the position he was in, we have a second hatchery going down here. Can he see this? No, he doesn't see either of these expansions. So he's demanding that the player give up. Oh, and Get Smart says, soon, soon, buddy. I'm going to, right on, I'm getting on it, bud. Don't worry about it. But Crow says, I know you have more bases. But look, he, if you look at his, his screen here, he does not know that he has more bases. And it looks like we finally have some Dragoons going out. He's going to send that Dragoon and try to scout around here. Uh, see, and yeah, these buildings are taking damage. See how they're taking damage because they don't have creep. They're going to, they're going to lose those soon. Uh, and Oh, he sends his Dragoon up here, and he sees this base finally, but this Dragoon is destroyed. There's nothing he can do to stop this. Crows demands that he leaves the game, please. This is, uh, this is interesting. Why would uh, the Zerg player leave the game? He is in a much better position than he is. This cheese photon cannon rush slash gateway rush has failed, and he is in no position to demand that the Zerg player leave. Oh, and he leaves the game. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is an excellent way for the Zerg to counter a Photon Rush cheese. Uh, but I recommend that if you're a, a, a Protoss and you want to do some kind of cheese, do a Gateway cheese. It's going to work a lot better. And we've seen some of the mistakes that the Zerg player made in defending against this. But he did manage to recover brilliantly and come through and end up winning the game. I hope you guys find my cast interesting. If you do, please subscribe, please thumbs up, and rate them good. And I am going to be getting out of here, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thinking Gamer, out.